What do we do first? Well, you make it easier on yourself if you disconnect the air assembly. No, nah, I don't want to. Alright, we'll disconnect the battery. You know how janky those are. Look, if you ain't going to listen to me, I'm just going to leave. Okay, I'll disconnect the negative terminal of the battery. Alright, 13 millimeter. Uh, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, dang it. Hold on. It works better if you use the deep well one. So, as witnessed in episode 8, my negative terminal is super tenacious and determined to touch that negative post. So, I like to put a cable tie and another cable tie and put them together and tie it to the top of the expansion tank. It's not going to touch. Okay. Now what? Uh, you got a serpentine belt toolkit. What on earth is that? Well, basically, it's a long bar. And in your case, you're going to need a 3 8 inch square. And I got a 3 8, three eight inch square on my ratchet, right here. 3 8 inch square, like this? Well, yeah, but this isn't going to... And where's it go? Well, it goes down there. Yeah? Down where? You can't see nothing. You're going to have to use your fingers as your eyes. That's not a problem. I can totally do that. Let's do it. Alright, where? No. Alright, let's see. Well, you know what? I do fill a square hole. All right. Square peg into the square hole. Should be able to do it. Where's my fingers? Is my eyes? Where'd that square hole go? There it is. All right. Come on, googly eyes. Oh, googly eyes. You got it. That's it, baby. All righty. Thanks to the googly eyes, we got that peg in the hole. Now what, Klaatu? Well, I was trying to tell you before you jumped ahead is that that's not going to work. What you mean that's not going to work? Why, would, why did I do that then? Well, that's too small. It needs to be like three times the length that it is to get enough torque on it. You're going to have to really grab on that and pull on it. Hmm. I got an idea. I learned this from my brother. He uses a fan uh, down rod. I'm going to use this. What the heck is this? It used to be a flagpole. Yeah, so we'll just get this like this. Cram that on there. Oh, no, don't come out. There we go. All right. Do yourself it. Serpentine toolkit. Pull this one. And that comes off. Nice. And then pull that back. And that went way too easy. Well, all right. How do you like them apples, Klaatu? I just saved 30 bucks by not having to buy a tool. You got lucky. Now what, Klaatu? You need to disconnect this clip. Pull out this red tab, squeeze right there, and yank it out. I know how much you love yanking stuff out. Red clip first, huh? Huh. Looks easy. And what? Squeeze and yank. Squeeze and yank. Wiggle. Squeeze, yank, wiggle. Boy, that was easy peasy. Okay. Now what, Klaatu? No, unscrew this and take this off. All right. Well, wait a minute. Hang on, I can't take that off because I'm using my ratchet down there as a pulley tool. Uh-huh, who's smart now? All right, hold on. That's not deep enough. That's not going to work. <laughs> so now what are you going to do? Well, hold on. I got another ratchet. Stay away from my tools, bird. All right, you just hang on to the camera, Klaatu. I got this. All right. Cool. And yeah. Here we go. Where's this go? Off. That's where it goes. Off and to the side. Yeah, stay there. Alright, now what, Klaatu? Now you need to take this bracket off. That bracket? Yeah, I can take that bracket off. Okay, that's that. Okay, what? Hmm, yeah. Hmm. Put my socket on that one because the air assembly's in the way. That's why I told you to take off the air assembly. Well, why? I mean, isn't it just easier to use a wrench? That's a lot easier than taking off the whole air assembly. And it's going right there. And when we come back out, they're all probably going to be gone because the birds are probably going to take them. This yanks off? Oh, yeah, that comes off nicely. Like that. There's two bolts down here on the side. Oh, yeah, there's one right there and right there. Size claw, too. 15 millimeter. Alright, man, that's a long one. Mm -hmm. That one. Okay, alright. Set that aside.
side. That one's a little shorter. Now what, Klaatu? Oh, now it's your favorite part. All right, let's yank that thing out. Yank, yank, without breaking something. Don't go too far, their hose is right there. Oh, there's another hose right there. Man, we gotta be careful, holy cow. Look, what if we keep doing this? Yeah, I did it, all right. Okay, look at you now. Yeah, so how'd it go? It was a freaking nightmare, Klaatu. Yeah, <laughs> why? Well, they're like, you want the 140 or you want the 160 or what do you want? And I'm like, Tch. I was pulling my hair out all day yesterday trying to figure out the same thing. So I finally ended up typing in every single original Denso and the Denso that popped up was 160 amp. Two people on YouTube replacing theirs with the exact same vehicle are using 160 amp. Um, so I figured, all right, I'm dealing with 160 amp. Yeah, so did you tell them you wanted the 160 amp? No, when they asked, I played dumb, and I was like, you guys tell me which one I need. So they typed in all the information, they're like, yep, yeah, you need the 140. And I'm like, what are you basing this off of? And they're like, well, that's what pops up. I'm like, about a half a dozen things popped up. Well, it's the first one that popped up. I'm like, okay, what's the second one that popped up? Well, it's 100 amp. I'm like, okay, so you typed in all the information, and you're getting a half a dozen different ones. What makes you think that it, well, it's the first one on there. I'm like, okay, I want the 160. I'm like, scroll down, click there. What does that say? 160. Pull that off the shelf. So they come back with this gigantic alternator. <laughs> Want the right one, huh? No, wasn't the right one at all. And I'm like, this is not the one that's in the picture. This is, well, it's the right model number. So I get so frustrated, I turn the box over and I'm like, 129. Look up on the screen, 119. You had one job. Well, it was in the spot that the other one was supposed to be. So, finally get the 160 amp alternator that I'm looking for, and we ring it up. And they gave me a 10% discount too, because I think they knew that they were frustrating me. Just cram it in there. Cram it in there. You have to line it up. There we go. All right, pick our ratchet up off the floor, and good and tight. All right. That went like that, all right? Thing. Ratchet didn't want to come out. Alright, so get that, 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 and that. Let's do that. Alright, release the hounds. So that leaves us with one extra part. Yay! Alright, no more whining. Alright, thanks for your help, Klaatu. Anytime. I went to AutoZone to test it. It must have done something right because it passed with flying colors. So. Welcomes to Danny DYI.